Hello everyone, my name's Ed, and I'm the sole guy behind the Epic Space Game, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Epic Space Game is the kind of game I'd always wanted to play. Yes, it's a top-down 2D shooter, but don't let that fool you, there's a lot more going on in the background here than what meets the eye. For starters, Epic Space Game is an ever-persistent, ever-expanding game universe. It's a sandbox game that places everyone all on one server where all the objects remain in the universe, even the ships. But the cool thing about Epic is that it's ever-expanding. There's absolutely no ending to the game universe. The game universe is divided into zones, and each zone has its very own and unique coordinate. You can literally get lost if you wanted to, and assuming you had the fuel. You can also find your very own corner of space and build all sorts of really cool things there, and there are really cool things in the universe to explore. All these objects stay here forever, until, you know, someone comes along and blows them up. The scale of Epic is so large that I really have to be brief. It's a space trading game at its core, yet everyone is trying to find a corner of space to grow their own empire. It's dangerous, but there are aspects of this game that will come to players naturally, such as piracy, mining, trading, salvaging, exploration, and bounty hunting. Of course, if PvP is not really your thing, then as the universe has no borders, you may come across a cash crop of planets and resources you can dominate. Asteroids can be mined, space trash can be harvested, there are all sorts of ways you can interact with objects in the universe. Harvesting resources allows you to create products for your own use, or you can sell these products to other players. Products players need, such as ammunition and fuel. For example, aluminum ore mined from aluminum asteroids can then be combined with ice to create rocket fuel. Fuel has obvious value. It all starts with space stations. Every player has the ability to deploy them, and there are several kinds of space stations, all specializing in a type of product. They're easy to deploy and easy to maintain. Here you see a colony ship. It's designed for deep space exploration and the deployment of space stations. Let's head back to the previous coordinates and set up shop. Never mind. So we've reached the point where we want to set up our space station. Space stations are great. They allow you to produce and sell items you create in-game from other items you harvested. So now our station is under construction. Don't forget, it's extremely vulnerable in this state and it's always a great idea to keep it protected with friends. It's also a good idea to find a nice empty pocket of space with no one around to set up shop. However, the closer you are to civilization, the more income your station makes, and there really isn't a limit to how many stations you can construct. So this is a quick overview of some of the concepts incorporated into Epic. The game is just about ready for some serious beta testing, and that's where you come in. If you think you'd like an iOS, PC, Mac, intergalactic sandbox game where you can go anywhere and do anything, consider helping out and making a pledge. Thanks, and I'll see you in game.